Hello guys, I'm the Frog and welcome to another scrap mechanic video. Today, I will show you how you can traverse seas without using any fuel or thrusters. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can unsubscribe at any moment. Alright, let's get on with the video. Just a quick disclaimer though, as you can see I have creative mode inventory thing enabled right now. And I also have for example commands just god mode. However, this will not affect your ability to replicate it in your survival world. You can do it with just clean, legit install. And I'm only losing it, so it's easier for me to show you this amazing trick. And if you want to find out how you can enable it yourself, here is a link to my video explaining how you can do it in the top right corner of your screen right now. Alright, back to the video. So as you can see, we are currently cruising the seas. In open water, we can steer just fine, and we're going at a pretty decent speed as well. This is actually a little bit faster than just swimming normally. And this whole trick is actually pretty cheap to make as well. But for that, let's go on land and I'll explain you everything. Alright, we are currently approaching the shores, but worry not. Because we can actually go on land with this vehicle. So let's hit the beach and as you can see, there we go. We are now cruising the lands as well. So the concept itself is actually pretty simple. First of all, you need some kind of floating base that will allow you to, of course, you know, stay at the surface of the water and not sink. The second thing is a cage for your walk, because walks are our primary source of power here. So I highly also suggest that you don't build just the fence around it, but the roof as well, because the walk can sometimes turn into a ragdoll and they could fall out of your boat and then you would be left stranded at sea, which you probably don't want. The next thing that we need is a car on a stick, or rather a corn on a stick. As for controlling the vehicle, we will need some kind of a driver thing, like for example this driver saddle right here, as well as a suspension glitch steering, which you can see at the back right here. And if you didn't know how to make suspension glitch steering, here's a good tutorial, basically all you need is first of all place down a bearing some kind of a block i suggest using something with smaller collision like this pack right here then you place some kind of a suspension on this it can be just level one suspension i also suggest filling around a little bit with the limit because this can increase or decrease the performance of your suspension and make it more and less stable then what you gotta do is attach some kind of block at the end of this suspension and then four blocks on the sides of it, but not to this block that's attached to the suspension, to the base of your vehicle, just like that. Now the last thing that you obviously need is some kind of way to steer this. So for example, I'm gonna use this cell right here, connect it to the bearing. And as you can see, whenever I turn, this block right here will push into those blocks, which will cause the whole thing to rotate, just like this. And if you want your vehicle to be able to drive on land as well, like mine can, I uh, also suggest you add wheels or for example the drills or other simple part that has low friction. I myself really like the drills because they look pretty cool when sliding on the ground and also this kind of transportation on land actually fits pretty well with the suspension steering. Unfortunately, one thing that I have not yet figured out is how to actually stop this dang thing. So I have tried a little bit of like an anchor thing, but it didn't really work out. And as you can also see, I tried moving the corn away from the walk so that it stops walking towards it, but it doesn't always work. And sometimes the eye of the walk just does some weird stuff. So that's just one thing that you will have to figure out on your own. And by the way, this is just a reference design you might want to make your world look very much differently. This is just something that I put together quickly to show you this amazing trick. And another advice I have to give you is to make the wall, the walk is actually hitting to push you forward a little bit more massive, as in with more area. Because for example, if you were to just leave uh, something like on the sides, right there, it would have way, way less efficiency. So. Because I have commands enabled, let's spawn ourselves walking here, so that I don't have to catch it. But it's just the same as if you were to catch it your by yourself. And as you can see, let's just slide into the water. Now the haybots can't get us at all. And we can now conquer the seas without spending any fuel or using any thrusters. So the last piece of advice that I want to give you is be careful. 
not to lose your ship because if this ship drives too far away from you, um, basically what the game does is it unloads blocks and parts if you are too far away from them. So what will happen is the rock will fall out of the boat and you will be in trouble. So I will actually show you what I mean. I'll fall off the boat and let's wait for it to go far enough first. Alright, so it looks like the boat has actually stopped already. So let's swim to it to check what happened. And just as I told you, the rock got out of the boat because it went too far away. But as long as you are actually near the boat, nothing bad should happen. So if we spawn ourselves another walk and we start going, no matter for how long we are gonna go, we shouldn't encounter any problems. And also, if you are building a larger boat, I assume that having more walks like this would actually be beneficial and it would probably work better. But that's something I will leave to you to do. And if you do something very interesting or just want to show your basic boat to me, you can do that in my Discord, the link is in the description. Alright, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave thumbs up and subscribe for more similar content to this one. Also remember to check out my Discord server. I was Frog, and I hope to see you in another one. Bye!